Uh, this is Colin, and this is my review on Android 2.1 for the Click. This leaked yesterday. Um, it's not known whether this is going to be the official 2.1 release, but at least it's something, since we've been dealing with Cupcake since the phone came out. Um, first thing you notice about it is on the Click, it's a different unlock screen. And you see that the home screen is the same. You see the new Moto Blur user interface. Um, it, and just to show you that this is, in fact, 2.1, I'll go to About Phone. And we'll go to Firmware Version. And you see that it's 2.1 Update 1. Um, I did notice that. You can resize the widgets on the home screen, so that's really nice. See, I made the messaging widget bigger. Um, there's a new home screen indicator, so you can jump from screen to screen. Uh, let's, let's check out the Google Maps app, because up until now, we didn't have the Google Nav. I'm um, turn on the GPS. Directions. Just going to type in a random address. And there we go. It's getting directions. Right, I actually use the MyTouch 3G slide now. But as you see, accept. And it's getting directions. Alright, you gotta install the voice guidance. So, we do have a better version of Google Maps now on the click, which is good. Alright, let's get out of that. I haven't set up the Android market yet. Um, if you come to the menu, it's still a bit laggy, but it's pretty much the same thing. It says, um, where was it? Let's go to the browser. Um, this doesn't have pinch to zoom, and as of right now, it doesn't have flash. Alright, let's go to Facebook. Now, this isn't the official release, so we don't know what this is, because there's a lot of bugs I'm sure they need to fix. So we're going to Facebook. Take you to the touch site. See, the browser's pretty decent. See, there's no... can't pinch to zoom. And there isn't multi-touch, so that's a bit of a letdown. Alright, you can come to the market. Load the terms of service. Let's see, it's the new updated one. Alright. Other things about the phone. It has this performance manager. So when your phone starts to go slow, it'll do a diagnostic, tell you how much RAM and how much of the CPU it's using. That's a really nice feature. Um, I'd say it would be a nice update, but it isn't anything too exciting, especially without it having Flash or the multi-touch. Um, also, this isn't the official release, this is just the leak, so they're probably still tweaking it, but at least you know something's coming out for the click. Um, I'll check back if I get an update, I'll upload a new video, but as of right now, that is your first look at the 2.1 ROM for the Motorola Click.